Hello YouTubers out there, welcome to Studio Recall, my name is John and welcome to the BTS of my entry for the LG... The... <laughs> God damn it, I forgot the name. The LG Ultra Wide Quest. Now, what I'm just going to be doing is going through how I shot everything. So at the moment, um, I'm just kind of getting set up. This room's a bit of a mess, so I'm not going to show you that. But um, at the moment, I'm going to go down to the shed and I'm going to somehow transform this flimsy little tripod. I've got another one over there. Like, it's, it's still a piece of crap, that one. But this is even worse. <laughs> But what I'm going to try and do is transform this into a slider. That should give me some nice results, because I know I can definitely get like a couple of pan shots in there, but at the moment, this is my number one priority. So, let's go. I'm hoping that I'm going to be start filming around about this time when the big hand's there and the little hand's there. You get the point. Woo! It is a lovely day outside. It's quite lovely and sunny. That's awesome. So I've seen like quite a lot of DIY slides. Not that I have one in my head, but like a lot of the um the materials that people use is just like you can buy from the hardware store. Problem is, being in the country, nothing's open on the weekends. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. So I'm just gonna have to find whatever I can in this shed and somehow build a DIY slider. Piece of garbage of a tripod. I won't even trust my DSL. Look, look at that. Flimsy, plasticky, and I don't, I don't even want to talk about that. It's just useless to me. So yeah, let's, let's, let's see what I can find in this shed that I can DIY a slider out of. Cause I know, actually you know what the first thing I should do? Take that off. Okay, already just after dissecting some of it, this thing is just like, it's just a hunk of plastic. Oh my god. This this thing is absolute trash. I would not trust my DSLR on this thing. No way. <laughs> oh my god. I'm having so much fun with this. I don't know how I'm gonna... Oh. What the f***? <laughs> oh my god. Is this seriously a tripod? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh my god, this is, this is not even, oh, what, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, please don't assume that I don't take care of my equipment. I do, it's just that when they're a piece of crap like this, when it's all plastic, it's kind of hard to take care of it because they're just going to break anyway. <laughs> oh, what the, what? <laughs> oh, victory. So, I've, I've, I've got the head. Maybe if I get rid of this part, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, what I'm thinking is that using this bottom part, and getting rid of that part so that I've got a b base plate almost somehow. All right, we got the base plate. We do have a bit of a, a gap here. I don't think I, c I could actually saw it off, but I'll, I'll attempt to saw it off, but I kind of like it because then maybe I can have something to lock it in. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. And this, this is all the dissected tripod and what's left of it. <laughs> Now that I got the base plate, I need to find something for rails and a mounting thing. Hmm. So I found a piece of ply, and what I'm thinking is that if I put it there, and then somehow like glue it down or like find a bolt or something to put it in place, then it should hold nicely, but I'll try and put it as close to the edge. And then that will be my base, the base of the base plate, because I can't drew, throw, drew a hole through this, because if I screw it down, the base plate of the tripod head won't come out. So this will be my base, and then the other, <laughs> basically I'm having two base plates. <laughs> Two place plates, get it right. Nice. Now, I don't know how I'm going to secure it yet. Now, I got that sorted. Now for the harder part. Now, I don't, I don't, haven't found any extra railing yet because I don't know if I have any around, but these are my best bet. I wish I had another one of these because then I would have worked with it, but I might have to use these. I don't know. Because these are for like a, a varnishing broom. 
So, but we got like plenty of varnishing broom. So I might take it apart and hey, stop rolling away. So I might have to take that apart. If I have another one of these, that'd be great. It'd be absolutely perfect. Um, can I can I just add that I don't really have a plan for this at all. Like, there's no blueprints. There's no anything. This is like a lot of YouTube tutorials and determination. <laughs> there's there's nothing to it. There's the, that, that's literally it. I, I'd say that's it. And there's like a plan in my head. That's, that's the closest plan you're going to get. <laughs> I've run into quite a bit of a snag. We don't have any of the components we need to make myself my slider. <clears throat> you got to go to the hardware shop. And don't get me wrong, I would like to go. Problem is, they're not open. Because I'm a country idiot. <laughs> Nothing's open on like weekends for country people. It sucks. It sucks like Oh. I see a thing. Hold on a minute. What's this? Ooh. That's like fine. I think I can work with this. If I half it. Should give me enough for a slider. I mean, the one thing that gets me about this one shed is that my dad's practically got every single tool plus a ruler, and the one thing that I can never ever find is a is a goddamn tape measure. I mean, where 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 is a goddamn tape measure of any sort? It just astounds me. I mean, you've got every tool, <laughs> every trade. <laughs> Total tools, every tool. Try. But you don't have a goddamn tape measure. The F. I'm trying not to swear because this, this is family friendly. We, we know how the YouTube algorithm works. <laughs> okay, being that I can't find a tape measure, so what I've done, I've laid out a roll of duct tape and I put the the metal on it and I measured out the duct tape. So, if I measure the duct tape out of this ruler, because this is all I can literally find, then I'll find out how long it is. 200, 201, 202, 203, 204. So it's roughly 204 centimeters. Now half that, that's, uh, what is that? Um, math, help me out here. On 204, it's 50, so it'd be 52, 52 centimeters. 52 centimeters, I've got to measure out. And cut. It took me so long to figure out. Oh my god. I literally had a mind. I, lit I literally had like a mind blank and I was just like, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh shit, it's been recording. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of battery. Oh no, no good, no good. But uh, I, 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 find, I, I found the marking point and it, it's, it's pretty much in half and shit, shit. I gotta find a battery. Oh no, I gotta find a battery. Shit. Okay, we are back and we are at Full power. <sighs> Let's cut. <sighs> For f sake, are you kidding me? To be honest, I'm the idiot because I measured wrong. It was 12, not 102. I feel like an idiot. Oh my god, this is gonna go. This is gonna be like so much fun. For BTS. Like, so much fun to edit, and I'm like, oh my god, what were you thinking, Jordan? Alright. It's starting to come together. Not sure which way I'm going to put it, but all in all, it's coming together. To actually attach my homemade slider. If this, if this works, I'm going to be proud of myself, honestly. This is, like, tantalizingly painful. <laughs> I should use a chainsaw. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing now, I've cut an extra piece from the plywood and that now I've going to shape it out, cut it there, so I make two stoppers here and there and then I'll figure out what to do with you next. So now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to somehow seal up these ends so they have something to grip on with the hot glue or I could like screw them in somehow. But then I'm going to angle them like this so then that way I've also got feet. Pretty snazzy. So what I've done, I've just sealed up the holes with uh, hot glue. Now I know there's probably like a different substance or like a plastic rubber thing that I could do it but this is all I had on my hand and it works perfectly. Which you work with what you got. That's what I'm doing. 
Okay, now this was a little bit of a tricky part. I had to flip it kind of upside down and use this as a guide to where I'm roughly going to line it. I've already put glue in it, so when I put the other side on, I'm going to flip it over, then I'm just going to reseal it with glue. Then I've got myself a, a ghetto slider. <laughs> That's actually what I'm going to call it, a ghetto slider. Now, you've probably noticed in a couple of scenes that there's a PC here. This was the old family PC. We literally picked this up about a couple of years ago. I'll tear it open and see what's inside. This is this isn't this wasn't the setup. This was like the home PC. But my MacBook is this is my uh, sorry. My MacBook is my personal computer and that I kind of use that for gaming, well, flash gaming, I guess you could call it. It honestly is a piece of shit and it's and it's it's done in 720. <laughs> 7 Welcome to 720, bro. Welcome to the 1700s. <laughs> but I know it's like definitely screwed up out of its like uh, Windows days. It even, it even still has Windows XP on it. F me, home edition. Jesus Christ, this thing's old. Viewcom V822i6w. So this is like, this this is practically like something for like a personal computer, not even like a gaming rig. The only more, uh, probably the most powerful gaming rig so far in my whole house up there is probably just my MacBook and that's not even enough. <laughs> okay, so now I've finally managed to rip it open and God knows what's in here. Honestly, like, it's so dusty, it's just like, I can't even tell, like, what's what anymore. Okay, so what do we have here? Two gigabyte of RAM, so most likely that's another two gigabytes, so four gigabytes in total. I'm pretty sure that's like a 500 gigabyte. Oh, is that an SSD? Oh, I could steal that. <laughs> that could be useful. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna get that SSD out. Use that SSD for boot. Because if that is an SSD, I'm going to be impressed. But yeah, I have to loosen this up, so give me a second. Okay, I don't really need to take it out because what it is, it's a, what is it? It's a Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD. Honestly, the SSD in here probably has to be the only expensive thing. That's probably like a 500 gig or a terabyte hard drive. But that's all about, no, and then under there is like the Intel core something. But... Probably the only thing expensive in this whole thing was that, because I know my dad definitely upgraded that when he took it into like a computer shop. But yeah, this is like the home PC. This is like nothing at all. My Mac's probably the only thing that's powerful in the house. So yeah, just just letting you guys know, because I thought like that a couple of people like probably saw that in the background and were just wondering about it. So yeah, your curiosity is filled. Haha. -ha. Woo. Why is uh, what? I know that some people like having the thing at the top, but. It's just gonna drive shit down, not really out. Yeah, it's not gonna drive shit in down. It's just bring an air in and it's driving it down. What the fuck? Dude, that's horrible. See, now that I've got the word that I can like, my dad's gonna actually recycle this now, so he's actually gonna throw it away. The only things I'm probably gonna service is a RAM and the SSD. Now you're probably thinking, why not just use this computer and upgrade it bit by bit? The thing is, is that even if I upgrade it bit by bit, it's still going to be slow as fuck. Like, the chassis is pr practically cracking apart. Motherboard's pretty much dead. Intel's pretty much dead. Graphics, ever everything's pretty much dead. I mean, it's running Windows XP. No, that if I were to install, like, Windows 10 or Windows 8 on it, it's going to be slow as fuck. So, there's really no point for me using this, because... Regardless, my MacBook Pro is still going to outperform it. And why are you underexposed? Even if I were to take this up to the house and plug it in, my MacBook Pro is still going to outperform it by a mile. So, <sighs> what now I can do is I can just salvage this piece of shit. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, I do like, like, looking at a lot of computer opponents. It's just that... I know that I do like to like watch a lot of um, Austin Evans and um, Linus Tech Tips video, and like I do love their PC builds, which is pretty cool. Thing is though, when I go to every every single time when I like to look at all of their like all the specs and everything, and then just like oh yeah, you can build this PC for a thousand bucks, which is pretty cool. Yes, in their country at their time, you would be able to do that. But then if I were to look at the pages where they got them from, it's like oh sorry, you can't you, you can't get this item in Australia. We don't ship now. Not saying sure that might have adds that when you live in a farm, you're always busy. Okay, now that I've got the SSD out, I've actually read it wrong. It's actually 100 and tw 102 gigs SSD. Kingston SSD now 200 V plus. Don't know what that is. Not sure. I'll just try and take these, take off the base plate for it. Even call it a base plate? I don't think so. I need a smaller Phillips head. That's the other thing you can't find this 
In shed, you don't have a Phillips head screwdriver. Bloody hell. I swear, sometimes I just want to neck myself because, like, you can't find the shit that you need. It's stupid. What he likes to do, he likes to, like, move shit around every now and then. Because when I go to find something, like, it's moved somewhere else, and then half the time I have to go look for the damn thing because I can't find it. Oh, this is magnetized. Oh, that's, that's, that's dandy handy. F yeah. Glad I grabbed this screwdriver. Warranty bio different removed. Well, f you. <laughs> Yeah, so what I've salvaged is the the RAM and the SSD. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put all this stuff back together, but now I'm gonna go check up on that because I'm pretty sure the glue is pretty much hard now. Now to put it on the other side. Dude, this shit's like the hot glue is like coming out like a liquid. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's even bubbling. What the f man? Oh my god. I might have had way too much. It's fine. I swear to God, he likes doing doughies with that tractor. I swear to God. Okay, I swear to God. I have, like, found, like, the best things. It's like, magnetic screwdrivers are just... I, I, are the most loveliest things. Because watch. Look at that. Watch, watch. Look at that. Look, you got that. You got your screwdriver. Then, boom. Not even. You just... Uh, you start you start unscrewing. And then you, you just unscrew. And then you're about to lose it. But, boom. You've got it again. And I just unscrewed the graphic card. So, let's have a look what we have inside. This what's the... What's going on? Oh, is that it? it. The <laughs> might help if I get this out. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a knob head and a half. I didn't realize that was in there. Oh my god, the bottom one's like probably the most hardest one. Ugh. Eh, eh, eh. Is that good enough? Close. Eh, eh. Eh, 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 eh. like stitch. Eh, 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 eh. Come on. Ah. I'm so tempted just to like rip it off, but like I know I'll damage the ports. I don't want to do that. I want to prove to the world that I'm a good boy with my skills. There we go. Hey, That's just like a converted display port because this must be an old graphics card then. What? Why aren't you still coming out? What's going on? I need two hands for this. Oh, there we go. Hey, It came out. Just needed a bit of a wiggle. Yeah, this thing is dusty and this thing has seen better days. But yeah, that's that's the graphics card. I, I, don't, I have no idea what this is. Like, there's no shell, there's barely anything. Uh, GeForce 9500G GT PCI. Yeah, that's that's what it is. It's a GeForce, GeForce 950GT. Yeah, GeForce 950GT. Which is probably like one of the older, older models. Which doesn't have like the fancy coolage and stuff. But yeah, that's the thing. I'm kind of curious to like open that up with the Intel. Might as well. Might as well have some fun. I mean, I'm this far already, so yeah, let's have some fun with it while that dries. Found the heat sink, I think. Yeah, heat sink. Yeah, that's, I think that's definitely heat sink. Yeah, but I mean, I'm having fun dissecting this. I mean, I still got to get to the the processor, which is troubling enough. Because why don't you want to come out? Unless it's screwed in at the bottom. Hold on, give me a second. Well, I've had my fun. I mean, I can't really get to the Intel processor, but I mean, it doesn't really, I don't really need to look at it to say, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> and now my thingamabob should be dry-ish and it's at an angle. So far, so good. I mean, that is at a bit of an angle, but just go over some with some more hot glue. While that dries, I have to figure out Really? I have to somehow now figure out how am I gonna get that to slide. I mean, I can do that really well. Hand slide. I mean, that's all I kind of really need, but like maybe one day I'll upgrade it. But now, what I should do is polish it down a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's one ghetto slider. Wow. Can't believe I actually did it. Now, I do have the RAM and my SSD here so I'll put them away somewhere for now but for now I need to do some cleaning and get this place set it up but first I'm a little hungry so I might go get some lunch <laughs> no nah, but yeah it's almost lunch time so let's get some to eat <laughs> so what I'm probably gonna be having is a bit of shepherd's pie nom 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 Oh, 
Oh yeah, blast with radiation, my boy. <laughs> and the thing is with country, we don't waste anything. Nothing gets wasted. <laughs> Nom 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 nom. I just discovered with the wheel with the G7X, it like, it kind of locks its uh, uh, optical zoom when you're filming, but then it doesn't really lock when you're using like the manual zoom, which is weird. Okay, now, I just remembered something. Now, to every single Australian, you'll know exactly what this is, but to the rest of the world that you don't. This, this is like the best... This is the best kind of drink you could have on an after school day. But usually I would have a bit of grog because I'm legal. But anyway, what this is, is cordial. Now if you don't know what cordial is, let me explain. Practically, it's like a, a super, uh, like, a, like a really strong flavored liquid. And then what you do, you like pour about that much of like, this, this is strong stuff. You don't drink this. You pour about that much in it and then you fill the rest with water. And then you have like a really delicious drink. So... Let me, let me, let me, let me show you. Oh. But yeah, it's literally, it's literally just a beverage. Ooh. Probably the best way to describe it is like having, hold on. It's almost like having like a fruit juice or something. Kind of like that. You know like fruit boxes you get? But yeah, it's good stuff. Especially on hot days because, oh, it's a spot real good. <laughs> Yeah, my room is currently in a mess, so I'm just gonna do a quick sweep and clean to get it to video ready, but I have to go somewhere at three. More news on that shortly. Okay, now the desks. The best feeling in the world is like when you start cleaning your desk and it's just like all of it's pretty much clean. It's like it's just it's it's just it's just it's just because what I'm trying to do is just I'm moving away everything that doesn't need to be shown and then I'm gonna like spruce up a little if that makes any sense. setup is done. I mean, this is what it's gonna look like, like in shooting. The problem is, it's just that this nest of cables. I hope the guys never heard of a Velcro wrap. And I know it's just it looks absolutely atrocious, but that's probably the the best managing I can possibly have. I'll fix it up later. But like when it's usually drawn out, usually it looks like this, and then everything's just like nice and clean. Yeah, it's a little dirt. It's my little doog. I unfortunately have to go to a meeting, but it's a, it's not really, a, I don't know if it's a really important meeting. I think it's just like we're gonna get together and see what we're doing. Can't exactly say what meeting yet because nothing is set in stone. Well, I mean, it is set in stone, but I'm saving it to the end of the year because that's when it's really gonna go down. It's gonna be really interesting. I'm spouting out a lot of shit super fast, so I do apologize. Okay, so, be right back. Woo! Okay, so. Now what I'm going to be doing is that I have I have a storyboard I still got to write. Now I've kind of written down my basic ideas of what I'm going to be doing. And there's pretty much I'm actually going to go to the website and just double check that everything's still correct in Mundo. Um Optimus Quest. What? Oh no, I've went to the wrong one. It's a phone. <laughs> Thanks, Algy. <laughs> uh, quests. Here we go. So, first quest. Okay, so, from August 14th to August 8th, entry... Da, 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 da. I most likely upload it tomorrow sometime, because today is 19th and it's the 20th. They'll be reviewing all the footages and stuff. So, create a... 40, create a video that's 144 seconds or less telling us why, why you want, why, no, why you need the LG Ultrawide, blah, 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 Okay, it doesn't really say, because, like, I like to break it all down, because that's what I've kind of done here. 
So I've just kind of written out, you know, written to your, uh, well, somewhere it said, somewhere else it said your own original video. So like my own original video. Because what I was thinking, I had two ideas. One, I was going to make like a little short film about it, but I know that would go down south. So I'm literally just going to make a video response on like why I need this one turn stuff. I think it'll be a lot more easy and I'll get the point across better. And that, not only that, I can shoot in quality and no, and also um, shoot like Jonathan Morrison. I like a lot of his reviews with a lot of the pans, tilts, with a lot of his equipment and what he does. So I might kind of revamp it a little with mine. So kind of put that in there. But like, I'm seeing a lot of like uh, entries that have like, like why they want the setup, not the monitor, just the setup. And so I just gotta be careful of what I say. So. I've pretty much got off, oh, I'm pretty much gonna expand my ideas a little, then I'm gonna start storyboarding. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, now you're probably thinking, why am I even looking up <laughs> your boy Jonathan's videos? Now, the thing is, I'm looking at, cause I'm, I personally like his video, video style and his video editing, but like a lot of his styles, and I've seen a couple of these videos how he does like the tripod lean, and I'm trying to incorporate in my videos, cause Eventually, like somewhere down the line in my studio recall productions, um, I wouldn't get into product reviews. And I want to kind of do similar shooting to this. So, know that I kind of want to experiment with. And you know, a lot of his shooting is pretty cool. Like, I know he uses like pretty professional, like a camera, um, like a Manfrotto tripod and slider, I give it out. But I just want to kind of, I just want to kind of experiment a little. I'll definitely go on to, <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely go on to Austin's. <laughs> I'll definitely go on to your account, mate. And, um, uh, Linus Tech Tips as well to have a look at their video styles because like the thing is I kind of want to the thing is because like with the I'll probably like if I discover it like down the track because what I'm trying to do is just like I want to try and see if they can notice any little bit of shooting styles that look familiar and if they if they don't then oh sorry sorry I'm sorry for copying don't look at me no but yeah I'm trying to like kind of pull it a little bit of funny burn and do this and I'm not well, I guess you could say it's really copying but yeah so I'm trying to look at like different video shooting styles and compare them because so far like I know there's a good tripod lean I'm gonna do a lot of pull focus and stuff but we'll see what happens when I start shooting and stuff what time is it one o'clock so let's keep going okay Linus, the reason why I went into specifically your build guides because I know that I think you've got a little bit more B-roll into it and that with like higher quality. What? Wait, it's detecting your face even if it's a screen? Whoa! <laughs> but um, like I know that a lot of your B-roll, like I'm trying to get um hands down like your B-roll, like the, the very shallow depth of field. Yeah, I'm trying to like get a better understanding of like your B-roll because I'm trying to incorporate your shots. Well, some some style of your shots into my own making, just to make it a little bit more stand out, a little bit more. Now I'm gonna move on to um. Oh God, oh I almost forgot. <laughs> now Austin Evans, your turn, my boy. Interesting about the design here is that there's going to be a thin 240 millimeter. Hmm. I noticed with your videos because like you do a lot of like um. You've got B-roll, but then you've also got a two camera setup. So you've got camera A, which is like your main focus, then camera B, which is usually to the side. So, hmm, it's going to be interesting trying to incorporate like your video shooting styles into like my video, into my submission. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to copy like your video styles and video format to try and make like a better video or above like everything else or win the competition. Not nothing like that. No. I mean, everyone has a fair chance and everyone has a fair go, so go for it. But what I'm trying to do is just that, yeah, like react like some of your video video traits, video shooting styles, and how you set up angles and how you do this. Like, I kind of want to get more in depth with it and try to add a little bit more, to add a little bit more spunk into it, if you get what I mean. Just a little bit more finesse into it. So it stands out a little bit more. But of course, the majority of it's going to be like my creative shooting style, of course, which is very... I know, it's very, like, funny-ish, like, a very, because I, because when I first started YouTube, I came from a gaming channel, then I moved into production, and I guess, I'm, st I'm still sticking with production, I'm, of course, I'm still sticking with production, but I'm also going to be moving on to, um, do a bit of gaming, because, like, it's, it's at my roots, and gaming's kind of fun, and then I believe I can, like, with a lot of, a lot of, I a lot of, <laughs> With a lot that I've learned over the coming, over the past years about video editing that I believe I can do more and I believe I can do better. It's just that 
I'm stuck with the equipment that I have. And don't get me wrong, equipment doesn't make what you do on YouTube, it's the creativity you do, which I do get. But it's not until when sh it's not until um when video programs start to close. I'm looking at you, Final Cut Pro and iMovie and GoPro Studio. F you. It's it's when video programs start to close and all your data is gone. That's when shit you kind of need to upgrade and you need to get like better equipment. Like yes, it yes the equipment doesn't make the YouTuber and the creativity makes the YouTube channel. But if you don't have reliable equipment, you can't get your opinion or you can't get your image across or you can't do the things that you want to do and I love video making like and the thing that's stopping me or well, number one is schooling but number two is the equipment I have my camera is good my trip my trip can be upgraded my line can be but the main thing is what I edit on and that's what everything binds together I mean I can shoot like all these clips, but if I don't have something to edit on, I can't bring the story together. I can't knit and create the story. I can't edit. I can't recreate and I can't do that, which it annoys me. It does. It really does. So, in a way, I kind of do pray. <laughs> I do win this competition, but like at the same time, I hope that everyone else out there has a fair shot and that can achieve greatness and one lucky winner can win it. Which would be pretty cool. But anyway, back to shot list. Quite overexposed. <laughs> right, so it's the next day. Now all I gotta do is write the script and write up a storyboard and I'm ready to shoot. But so far, let's write the script. Typing, 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 typing. Command print. <laughs> Power on! Print, 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 print. What? Print? What? <laughs> oh! Right, right, I'll just take this man. I'll, I'll just take it. I'll, uh, no. Okay, last few things to do. Now that I've got my script or printer, I'm gonna start memorizing that. All I have to do now is storyboard, and what I'm going to be doing is cleaning my desk to make sure it looks all sparkly and shiny, because presentation is key. Know that, get a pair of change of clothes, because again, presentation is key, I want to look good. Even shave. I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss the bit of fluff, I've been growing it for a while. <laughs> I'm going to go, go back to baby face, you want the way it was, the way it should always be. <laughs> but anyway, be right back. Sorry about the noise in the background, the washing machine's on. But now that I have my script and storyboard all drawn out, all the planning's done. What's next is the cleaning and then the filming stage. What fun. Now probably the best thing that you can do to clean up like, if you have like a wooden desk or anything like that, the best thing you can do is get a bit of glass cleaner and a rag or a cloth or something and then just wipe it all down. Makes everything just look shiny and then I'm just gonna put that air because I need to what I need to do is just fill it in because you got all this here but then you need an extra filling and stuff I might put something else there but for now that's gonna go there and now for the bottom part cleaning's done and I'm saying this looks pretty snazzy oh gotta get rid of that thing that is my uh, Super 8 cartridge it's a very very nice Super 8 camera I love it but everything is looking pretty snazzy and keen I know it's a little dark but I'll turn on a few extra lights. What do you want, cat? So I'll turn on a few extra lights, got everything nicely set up, nicely looking. Turn that on. Pretty sure that's pretty sure that's just the one mode. Yeah, cool. Everything's looking pretty good. What are you doing? Get off my chair. Now all I gotta do is the look part. Now I have to change pretty good. Alright, time to shave. And I'm running out of battery again. Jesus Christ, I'm burning through batteries. Okay then, now all there's left to do is the hair and, well both hairs, <laughs> I have to do the hair and shave a little, so. Not too bad, not really, who knew that this face was hiding underneath that beard? 
Uh, don't get me wrong, I didn't mind the beard, but like, it was kind of getting out of control and needed to be tamed, so I tamed it. Alright, now to get changed, get ready to shoot. Woo! I'm going to be starting with all my B-roll first because I can go slow, I can probably take a couple of hours on it, get all my really smooth cinematic shots, make, the, make sure everything is completely smooth, and then last but not least, start with my A-roll, which is me talking to the camera. Hello YouTubers out there, and greetings to Austin Evans and Linus Tech Tips. Oh my god. The editing's almost done, I'm just adding the outro and this little end clip right here. So, oh, it's currently the Monday and... It feels great to be completed, but I have to end the BTS now because tomorrow I have a sack. And if you don't know what a sack is, it's, it's basically a test that really matters. <laughs> if I were to describe it that way. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my channel and see the other content that I post. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe today. And as always, I'll see you later. Have a good one. That's video outro. Bye!